Hello everybody, welcome back to 539 Productions. So I am at a very small little graveyard in the middle of the country again called uh, the Leonda Graveyard and it looks very small but uh, definitely seems to be pretty old so I'm not sure exactly what we're going to find here if there's any uh, Civil War veterans or maybe even a Revolutionary War veteran after the last time finding that. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see if maybe I can find a few more but I'm not really quite sure but after this we're going to go check out an awesome abandoned railroad bridge and then uh, move on from there to a graveyard with a very famous name. Uh, the graveyard itself doesn't have any association with the uh, fame uh, surrounding its name. However, uh, it's in a very interesting location and it will make an amazing episode. Seems to be quite a bit of destruction here so far. Doesn't even look like a lot of the names are going to be visible. So far it's just looking like a big pile of rubble almost everywhere. Let's go ahead and walk on the, down to the end here. At first glance, I'm not seeing any markers for Revolutionary or Civil War. However, that could just be because the only care they're doing here is mowing the grass. obviously nice of somebody to do however that seems to be the only good care that this particular place is receiving Pretty much the same thing at the back here, just piles of uh, chunks of stones. I'm seeing one that seems to be legible right here. Let's see how old it is. It's looking like it's the 1860s or the 1880s, so it could have been. If it's the 1880s, I would say it could be a Civil War vet. However, at 88 years old uh, and passing away in the 1860s, I would say it's unlikely that he would have been a vet of any sort. This one here is definitely fallen over. You can see the mud from where uh, somebody uh, picked it up. Level of destruction here is really high. Seeing lots of little places in the grass where there's dirt. I don't know if that's a sign that there were markers there that were moved or if maybe they're just filling in holes. This is pretty crazy here. It looks like it used to be a nice place. But you can see at the back here, there's even a fence that used to be here surrounding the entire property and it's been torn out and sections of it are completely gone. Yeah, 
you can see that in some of the sections have been replaced with this wire uh, fencing. But you can tell at one point somebody had spent a lot of money and a lot of time to make this place look nice. And it's such a shame seeing uh, what it's come to. This here is definitely a Civil War veteran. So no one from any uh, veterans organization has been coming out here to lay any type of markers down or flags or anything like that. So that's really sad. One of the few headstones that's actually still looking decent. The only problem is it's laying down on the ground. And this looks like a family section here. See, even the very, very large granite stone has been knocked off of its base due to erosion. And this here may have been a pinnacle stone, and it is completely gone now. Most likely just underneath the ground. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything in this pile of rubble here. Hopefully there's no stones uh, left in there. Again, almost nothing is uh, legible anymore. A very, very sad place. It looks like over here is another war veteran. More than likely a civil war. And they are from the Indiana Cavalry, which is something I don't see very often. It's usually an infantry grave. And that's kind of neat to see, and it's still standing. However, there's no flags, no GAR markers, nothing. And you'd think it would at least have a GAR marker. And this is a hand-carved headstone. You can barely see the inscription of somebody's initials right here. And it definitely looks like they took a piece of stone that they maybe had on their property and carved it out. So we can see right here, somebody, it looks like Mr. and Mrs. Jenkins. Okay, but this is the grave of James. One of the few legible stones. So this stone here has fallen off of its base and has been propped back up over here. And you can tell, obviously, uh, as I said before, because of the uh, mud on it. Another grave with the last name Jenkins on it from 1876. Wow, I was not expecting to find this place in this condition.
This one has a very clear inscription on the top. It has survived the test of time. Probably only because of how large the lettering is. However, the front of the stone here is definitely starting to fade. It looks like it would have been a fairly elaborate design. And pretty much the last stone that I haven't uh, checked out is right here and like a lot of them is it's completely worn away. I'm imagining this place was probably lost for quite a while and maybe uh, just recently has been uncovered from the brush and uh, now somebody's starting to mow it. And I'm assuming that over here in this section where there's nothing but grass, there's probably a lot of burials that are just uh, devoid of their markers now that they've worn away or been buried underneath the ground. All right, well, thank you for watching this short yet historic episode of 539 Productions. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and check out some more of our other great explorations here on the 539 channel as well as our second channel, My Story, which is available in the description below. And uh, yeah, so it was a very interesting place that uh, had more than a few Civil War veterans here. And for whatever reason, they haven't been marked or visited by any Veterans Association. Or... So I'm kind of confused about what's going on, why no one's come out to uh, leave any flags or place any Veterans markers. However, it, like I said, it looks like the place was probably lost for quite a few years and then just recently rediscovered by somebody locally and now it's being cared for uh, a little bit, mostly just mowing the grass. Uh, and it looks like a few of the headstones have been uh, placed uh, back in their upright position. However, there's a lot of work to be done here, lots of destruction and lots of decay, and things that uh, definitely could be prevented, and uh, a lot of uh, stones that have a chance at uh, surviving the test of time if someone just comes out here and does a little bit of extra work. Uh, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next adventure.